Hello everyone, this is Teacher Sydney again and today we're going to tackle your lesson four. Let me write it down. That's English. Quarter four, we are now in week number three. Are you ready? Let's start. Our lesson for today is about writing paragraphs showing cause and effect. In Bisaya, we call this hinungdan, that's cause, and epekto, that is effect. What are our goals for this discussion? First, we have to determine the meaning of cause and effect. I already gave you the translation for cause. Again, cause is hinungdan and effect is ang epekto. Second, identify causes and effects. We have to learn how to identify what are the causes of some events and the effects of some events as well. Third, we have construct a paragraph showing cause and effect. Let's proceed. Before we are going to talk about cause and effect, let us first observe how cause and effect affects the entire text. As you can see here, we have bodies of water. Here, this is picture number one, and this is picture number two. The question is, how do you think do these pictures matter in the text? Unsa may hinungdan nga nung kinahanglan na ni ibutang ni nga mga pictures, tapad ani nga text, tapad ani nga mga words or paragraphs. Let us first read so that we have a clearer understanding of how cause and effect can be placed in a text and how multimedia like the pictures you see on the right affects the entire text. Let's start. This is paragraph number one. Water covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface and constitutes over 60% of the human body. If water is polluted, marine life, wildlife, health, and human well-being are affected extensively. To prevent pollution, there must be an immediate check on our daily habits and the types of products we consume, including our knowledge on the causes and effects of water pollution in the environment. This is the end of paragraph number one. If you are curious what a paragraph is, a paragraph is a group of sentences that contains the same topic. I hope that is clear. Let's go to paragraph number two. There are many ways by which water becomes polluted. First, first, sewage from domestic households, factories, and commercial buildings is treated in water treatment plants. This is often disposed of into the sea. Second, Solid wastes and human litter, such as styrofoam, aluminum, plastic, and glass, are dumped into rivers, lakes, and seas. Next, industrial. Okay, we have next industrial wastes from factories going to the rivers contaminate the waters. Aside from this, oil spills. We have another transitional device. Oil spills from tankers and oil from ship travel do not dissolve in water, thus forming a thick sludge. When fossil fuels are burned, acidic particles are formed in the atmosphere, causing acid rain. That's the end of our second paragraph. Now we go to the third paragraph. Okay, so this is the third one. We start here. Because of the pollution, groundwater contaminated by pesticides causes damage to reproductive processes within wildlife ecosystems. Sewage, fertilizer, and other chemicals increase the growth of algae, which depletes the oxygen in water, upsetting the natural ecological balance in rivers and lakes. These also poison fish, which humans eat. Swimming in and drinking contaminated water causes skin rashes and health problems like cancer. Human produced litter like plastic bags and oil spills can kill marine animals. Solid waste accumulated in streams and rivers causes flooding too. 
Facts on water pollution are alarming, especially its huge impact on human health and marine animal ecosystems. If we do our part by not polluting the water, we can help improve aquatic life and our health in general. Let's answer the first question. Why are the pictures here? You are right. The pictures here on the right, such as picture number one, picture number two, and picture number three, are relevant to the text because these are examples of how, how our water systems are polluted. We have putting garbage close to water or bodies of water, as you can see here, this part. Using pesticides here and throwing garbage in water systems or bodies of water like what you can see here. So what's our next activity? Let's figure out. This time we're going to analyze the text by answering the guide questions on the left side. You are right, the left side is here. Let's start. What is the composition all about? Given the pictures that I showed you a while ago, and the paragraphs and the sentences in each paragraph, of course, it's clear that the text is about water pollution. Oh, where is my pen? Mm -hmm. Okay. So here our answer is water pollution. Number two, what does each paragraph tell? Let's go to paragraph number one first. So this is our overall paragraph number one. You will know if paragraph number one or the paragraph has ended because you will see a big space before the next paragraph begins. And in this case, this is the space we are referring to. Let's read the paragraph again. Water covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface and constitutes over 60% of the human body. If water is polluted, marine life, wildlife, health, and human well-being are affected extensively. To prevent pollution, there must be an immediate check on our daily habits and the types of products we consume, including our knowledge on the causes and effects of water pollution in the environment. So the paragraph ends here. What exactly is the topic of paragraph number one? Paragraph number one gives us an overview. Overview meaning to say, um, general nga ideas na dapat i-discuss sa parts of the entire text. Kani sila tanan, uh, atong gisgutan dire kay water pollution man yun. Ang overview, nag-discuss kung unsa ka-importante ang water. It's not just something that covers 70% of the Earth's surface, but it also constitutes 60% of the human body. Maong importante kaayo ang tubig kay ang imuhang kaugaling lawas o ang akong lawas is made of 60% water. Of course, kinahanglan po tamo inom og tubig para na tubig ang atong lawas. But what if the water is polluted? So here we have second sentence, if water is polluted, marine life, wildlife health, and human well-being ang atong kaugalingong health kay maapiktuhan. So the overview paragraph or the first paragraph gives us an overview of how water is important not just to humans but to the environment and wildlife. Okay, so paragraph one is for the importance. Let's go to number two. Does it express cause or an effect? Referring to paragraph number one, is there cause and effect? What do you think? So we have terms like causes and effects for the first paragraph. Usually when a paragraph uses causes and effects or words like these, we have already an idea whether the entire text or the paragraph talks about cause and effect. Let's elaborate that further later on. Second question, what transitional words signal these effects? We have effects. Effects are usually preceded or giunhan og signal words. I'll give you great examples later on to make things clearer. But let's observe. In the second paragraph, for example, there are many ways by which water becomes polluted. In Bisaya, daghan kayo ginungdan nga nung mahugaw ang tubig. First, sewage from domestic households, factories, and commercial buildings is treated in water treatment plants. 
this is often disposed of into the sea. So, Moni, ang ato ang first na sentence sa second paragraph. If we're referring to the text to answer um, the fourth question, uh, we can observe here ways by which water becomes polluted. We did not see because, but then there are many ways by which the entire phrase already signals what is causing water to be polluted. Ang una nga hinungdan kay ang sewage water or ang tubig nga sobra gikan sa mga balay sa factories of commercial buildings nga gitrip kunuhay or gulimpyuhan pero ang kahugaw sa tubig o ang tubig nga hugaw mismo kay ilabay ra gihapon sa bodies of water like the sea this is an example of cause and of course we know that the effect of throwing sewage water throwing garbage household garbage aluminum plastic all that causes water pollution. Clearly, the composition consists of the following. So, ang entire composition, when we say composition, we're talking about the entire text. Can you see? Yeah? It consists of the following. We have paragraph number one, the introduction, which states the main idea, sometimes the purpose. Second, paragraph number two, the causes of water pollution. I think you can observe that here. Ang tanang hinungdan nga nung water pollution dimension. For example, we have here second, solid wastes and human litter. Litter meaning to say basura gikan sa mga tao, such as styrofoam, aluminum, plastic, and glass are dumped into rivers. Gilabay ra daw sa rivers, lakes, and seas. Next, industrial waste from factories going to the rivers contaminate the waters. Nay uban nga mga pabrika or trabaho anan nga ilabay lang ang ilahang basura, ang chemicals gikan sa ilahang operation dito sa bodies of water like rivers. Also, there are other causes mentioned in the second paragraph. We also have oil spills from tankers and oil from ship that travel through water. These are examples of causes of water pollution. Now we go to paragraph number three. Paragraph number three talks about the effects of water pollution, ang mga epekto sa water pollution. Here is our signal word. Because of the pollution, groundwater contaminated by pesticides causes damage to reproductive processes within wildlife ecosystems. When we say damage to reproductive processes, referring to this one, you have damage. Maglisud nag anak ang mga animals sa atong ecosystem, forests, for example, and our marine wildlife. Sewage, so fertilizer, and other chemicals increase the growth of algae. Mudaghan ang growth sa algae. Kaning nga klase sa tanong, mudaghan tungod sa water pollution. Which also causes, kaning algae, ang pagdaghan ani, ang hinungdan nga nung mugamay ang oxygen sa water. O tungod ani, ang balance, ecological balance, when we say ecological balance, ang gidaghan nun sa mga animals nga nabuhi sa rivers and lakes, kay matarog, mausab, o mubati. That is the effect of water pollution. Finally, we have paragraph number four. We cannot see it here. Probably, oh yeah, we have paragraph number four here before I miss. Where is it? Here, this is paragraph number four. It's not so clear because the spacing from paragraph number three to this one is quite cute, but it's okay. Let's read paragraph four. Facts on water pollution are alarming, especially its huge impact on human health and marine animal ecosystems. If we do our part by not polluting the water, we can help improve aquatic life and our health in general. This one um, zips up all the information you are discussing about water pollution from paragraph number one, two, three, and four. Okay, a while ago, I talked talk to you about the parts of the paragraph. My mistake, it should be four. The fourth is here, this part. I think you can see that also in the next slide. All right. So that is the summary of our discussion of how cause and effect works in a composition or in a text. There are ways for us to indicate causes and effects in a paragraph. We can use what we call as transitional words or transitional phrases to indicate causes and effects. Again, 
causes are the hinungdan and effects are the epekto. Here are phrases. Again, phrases are made of more than one word. Usually, there are two words, three words, or four words. So we have here um, phrases and words pertaining to mga hinungdan or causes. And the first cause or reason, we can also say the second cause or reason, and the third cause or reason, and so on. We can also say because, or we can say is caused by, or we can say results from. For effects or epekto, we can say one important effect, usa sa mga importante nga epekto, another result or um, lain pang resulta, an outcome or resulta, ang mugawas as a result, tungod ani, and then we have consequently maoto, we usually use the word maoto, and then we have then, next, therefore, thus, so. These words are usually used when we have sequence of events with cause and effect relationship. I hope this is clear. So what's our example sentence using the cause and effect? Um, words and phrases. We can have because of water pollution the boy got sick. So notice how we use the word because here. Don't forget the period. There. Tungod sa water pollution, nagkasakit ang bata ng lalaki. That's an example. Okay. Look at the sample carefully. I hope you will remember these phrases. If you have a pen and paper right now, it would help if you pause this video here and copy all the phrases under causes and all the phrases or words under effects. If you need more time, pause. If you don't need more time, let's proceed. Now you are ready to answer the learning tasks. We will start with learning task number one. Here we are. The instructions say, read the story, then read each question about the story. Choose the best answer to each question right after. If you wonder how the question looks like, it looks like this. Therefore, in your answer sheet, put numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on, and write the letter of your answer. Let's read. While I am reading this, I hope you are reading silently as well. I will give you some clue words that will guide you in understanding the text, and I will be translating some of the sentences to make the entire text clearer to you. Let's start. House rules. We have several rules in our house. My parents say that because rules help us all get along together. Once my sister broke the rule out calling home if you are going to be late. Dad got worried. Mama called many of my sister's friends. When my little sister saw how worried everyone was, she started to cry. When the baby heard my sister cry, he started crying too. Mama rushed to pick him up and trip on the rug. She hurt her leg just then my sister walked in. I'm sorry, my sister said. I was with Diana and we took her dog for a long walk. I didn't realize how late it was. When she saw what had happened, my sister was very sorry. Now, she never forgets to call. Daghan kunog rules sa ilahang balay, according to the storyteller. My parents say that's because rules help us all get along better. Ang hinungdan daw, nga nung daghan kay sila rules, kay para hapsay ang ilahang pagtratar sa usag-usa. Once my sister broke the rule, out calling home if you're going to be late. Nakalimot daw iya ang sister o tawag sa balay kung mauli siya o late o dugay siya mauli. Nabalaka iyang papa. Dad got for it. Mama called many of my sister's friends. Itawagan ang tanang amiga sa iya ang sister. When my little sister saw how worried everyone was, she started to cry. So ang little sister, 
kay nabalaka og apil pagkakita niya sa iyahang pamilya. So, nihilak siya. When the baby heard my sister crying, he started crying too. So, napay baby nga nihilak. Mama rushed to pick him up and trip on the rug. Kay nagdali-dali man ang iyahang mama o punit sa baby, naglakaw siya o paspas kayo, natapiga siya tungod sa rug sa trapo. She hurt her leg na napiang siguro siya, nasakitan iyang tiel. Just then, my sister walked in. O, nisulod ang iyang iksuon. I'm sorry, my sister said. I was with Diana and we took her dog for a long walk. So, nag-apologize siya kay kuyog day siya ni Diana o niya naglakaw sila kuyog ang iro. I didn't realize how late it was. Wasya kabantay sa oras. When she saw what had happened, my sister was very sorry. Pagkakita sa iyang sister, nabalaka ang sister o nagmahay sa iyang buhat o tungod ato o tungod ani nga event wala na ni usab si Diana nga di matawag kung dili siya mauli sa iyo let's answer the questions number one we are here by the way I'm putting a check so that you know what part of the screen I am reading one clue word that signal a cause and effect relationship in the first paragraph is A. Several B. That's C. How D. Because Write the letter of your answer on your answer sheet for learning task number one. Two, this family rules A. Make the baby cry. B. Make the older sister sorry. C. Help everyone get along better. Or D. Make dad worry. And so my purpose are rules. Choose your answer from the letters and write the letter of your answer on your learning um, task one on your answer sheet. Three, mama hurt her leg because A, dad got worried, nabalaka si papa. B, she tripped on a rug, uh, natapiga siya sa trapo or sa carpet kung unsabay na ah. C, the baby was crying. D, the telephone rang. Choose the letter of your answer. Um, rug usually looks like just something like a carpet, but sometimes in the Filipino culture, we don't necessarily have rugs. What we usually have are <laughs> rugs or trapo. Anyway, so much for that. I hope you had your answer. Let's go to number four. The sister didn't call because blank. A, she didn't take the rule was important. Para niya, dili importante ang rule. B, she didn't know how late it was. Wasya kabantay sa time. C, there wasn't a phone around. Wala daw telepono sa iyang gantuan. Letter D, Diana wouldn't let her. Wala daw siya gisugta ni Diana. Five, why does the sister remember to call now? Nga nung nakahinundum naman ang sister o tawag karun. A, she was sorry for the trouble she caused. B, she got better watch. C, she doesn't go to Diana anymore. Or D, she got punished for not calling. Let's proceed. The next paragraph is about water cycle. To guide you, let me give you an overview. The water cycle looks like this one. We can start anywhere, but usually it goes this way. When the clouds are too heavy to hold water in it, the water gets or forms into droplets and falls into the land and bodies of water. And that process is what we call precipitation. When water is heated, okay, so the collection is here, all the precipitates are already here. We have bodies of water. The collection of water into bodies of water is called collection, is spelled this way. When the heat coming from the sun goes to the Earth's surface, like what you can see here, it heats the water also, and the water changes from the liquid form. Say, ang pagkatubig, mahimo siyang gas. Muna siya hinungdan nga nung alingi, ing usahe paminaw ng hangin. And then we have here, evaporation. The process of water turning into gas. And as evaporation happens, water vapor go into the atmosphere and they form clouds. When the cloud is formed from water vapor, 
condensation happens. This is the spelling of condensation. And when the clouds are too full or puno na kayo sa tubig or water vapor, precipitation happens again. That is why it's called the water cycle. Water, kaya nga itong isgutan, water. O cycle, kaya ang process, patuyok lang. Here is the text. Along the way, I might be highlighting um, Hold on. I will be highlighting the causes and I will be underlining the effect to guide you along the way. I might also translate some of the words. The water cycle. You can't see it, but the water cycle is always in motion on the earth. This series of events goes around and round again and again, providing clean, fresh water for the land and seas. As water goes through this cycle, it is sometimes solid ice, sometimes liquid water, and sometimes a gas called water vapor. The energy that drives the water cycle is heat. When heat is added to ice, this is our probable cause. The ice melts into the water. So this is also our ice melts into the water so this is the effect when heat is added to water the water evaporates turning from liquid into gas i gave you an example already a while ago so it's now up to you to identify the causes and effects when heat is taken away from water vapor the vapor condenses turning from gas into liquid when heat is taken away from water the water freezes turning from liquid to solid the heat from the sun warms the water in oceans and rivers. The water changes into water vapor that rises into the air. High above the earth, the water vapor cools and becomes tiny particles of water that create clouds. We're now talking about precipitation. As the clouds gather more and more particles of water, the water falls as rain or snow, which are two forms of precipitation. This precipitation is absorbed into the ground or is added to the water in oceans, lakes, and rivers. The cycle is always constantly in process everywhere in the world. So, kung bisag-asa man ka sa kalibutan, ang proseso sa water cycle, maora gihapon. Precipitation, collection, evaporation, condensation, and back to precipitation. Let us now answer the questions. What is the effect? Where is my pen? Okay. What is the effect when water in the oceans and rivers is heated by the sun? Kung mainitan ang mga tubig sa oceans and rivers. Unsay may tabo. A. Condensation. B. Evaporation. C. Precipitation. Write the letter of your answer for number six. Let's go to seven. Water vapor begins to cool as it rises into the air. What is the effect of this cause? A. Condensation B. Evaporation C. Precipitation Again, write the letter. Let's go to 8. What is the effect when particles of water in a cloud gather to form drops heavy enough to fall to earth? A. Condensation B. Evaporation or C. Precipitation If you need more time, you can pause the video here. But if you're done answering six, seven, and eight, you now, you may now proceed to the next part. Let's check your answers. If you answered D for one, give yourself a check mark. Two, C, three, B, four, B, five, A, six, B, seven, A, eight, C, nine, B, ten, A. Unfortunately, in this quiz, we only have up until number 8, so please disregard 9 and 10. Let's go to learning task number 2. Write down in your answer sheet, learning task number 2. Here's the instruction. Read the passage below and check the box that shows the correct answer of the questions that follow. Because you have a separate answer sheet, what I want you to do is write down your choice or the sentence or phrase of your choice in the number, I mean, beside the number for learning task number two. Let's read. 
school starts in a week and today i'll be putting a check by the way so that i can guide you where i am already in the reading process school starts in a week and today is the day we go shopping for school supplies i told my mom that i didn't need new supplies this year i love my backpack from last year because it had a picture of topaz my favorite rock singer it even had her autograph across the bottom of her picture I couldn't wait to get it out and check my supplies. When I pulled out my backpack from the back of my closet, I was horrified at how dirty it was. Somehow, over the summer, I had forgotten the backpack wasn't in good shape. A strap was broken, the collar was faded, and the zipper was stuck. There was a dark spot right on Topaz's chin, and you could hardly read her signature anymore. When I looked inside, I found papers that were stuck together from an open glue bottle. I wondered who took the cap off my glue bottle. There was a library book I borrowed and forgot to return. My markers had escaped from the box, and the caps were mysteriously missing. My lucky pencil was too short to write with anymore. How did this happen? I discovered the dark spot on Topaz's chin was from the cupcake I packed away from the end of the year picnic. The frosting melted all over my notebooks and scissors. I decided it was time to make my list of new school supplies. I will not be translating anything, but I hope you had enough overview of what the text is all about and the things that can be considered causes and effects. For number one, why did the main character think she could use her old school supplies? Is it because she, because he loved his backpack from last year, which had a picture of Topaz? Is it because he found papers stuck together from an open blue bottle? Is it because he did not want to go to school? The question think, uh, says that the main character thinks she could use her old school supplies. Why is that? Number two, what caused the main character to change her mind about getting new school supplies? Is it because when he checked his school supplies and found it all dirty and damaged? Is it because when he learned that his brother would buy a new one? Or when he decided to go to school? Don't forget, whatever your choice is for each item, dapat inyong kopyahon o inyong ibutang sa tapad sa number. Don't forget, you have to be careful with the spelling of the words as well. If you need more time, you can pause the video here or let's just proceed to number three. What caused the dark spot on the backpack? It was from the markers. Um, it was from the markers had escaped from the box that escaped from the box it was from the cupcake he packed away from the end of the year picnic it was from the paper whatever your answer is if your answer sheet has number three here copy your answer beside number three four why were the papers stuck together in the backpack nganong nagkapilit silang tanan because it was from the markers had escaped from the box, because it was from an open blue bottle, because it was from the cupcake. There are some grammatical errors in these options. Let me correct them as you copy. Because it was, why were the papers stuck together in the backpack? We can remove this. It was from the markers that escaped from the box. You can say it was from an open glue bottle or you can say it was from the cupcake. Please copy the corrected version. Five, why was there a library book inside the backpack? Nganong na ay libro gikan sa library sa sa bag? Because he borrowed the book and forgot to return? Because the librarian gave the book to him? Or because he bought the book? Don't forget, copy the phrase of your answer beside number five of your learning task. If you need more time, you can pause this video. If you don't, let's proceed to the next slide. 
we have another paragraph here. Light. How we see colors. That is the title. Light is a form of energy that we can see. Some light comes from the sun. Other light is man-made. Man-made light uses science to turn another kind of energy, such as electricity, into energy in the form of light. Light moves in a wavy beam from a source to whatever object it needs. The beam is made up of smaller wavy beams, one for each color. When a light beam is moving through the air with all the colors together, it appears to be clear. When a light beam hits an object such as a tree, leaves, or an apple, the color of the object affects the smaller color beams inside the entire light beam. The green leaves absorb all of the color beams except green. So, you absorb sa dahon ang tanang colors gikan sa color beam or sa light beam, sorry, not color beam, sa light beam, pero iyang ipabilin ang green sa gawas. Only the green beam is reflected back so our eyes see the leaves as green. The apple absorbs all of the color beams except red. Only the red beam is reflected back so our eyes see the apple as red. This is called reflection. Another kind of reflection happens when a light beam hits a smooth, shiny object. When this happens, the entire beam of light bounces back. None of the small color beams are absorbed. The light beam bounces back like a ball thrown against a wall. If we look at the shiny object that is reflected, reflecting light, we can see images of the things the reflected light hits as it bounces off the shiny surface, such as our own face. Okay, the topic of this entire paragraph, set of paragraphs, is light. Now we are ready. Question number six. What is the effect if a light beam travels away from a source such as the sun? The light beam makes a sound. The light beam hits an object. The light beam hits a smooth object. This one looks like it's missing something. Again, copy the sentence that corresponds to your answer. Seven, a light beam hits a red apple. So what's the effect of this one? All of the color beams except red are absorbed by the apple. None of the color beams are absorbed by the apple or the entire light bounces back. Eight, a red apple reflects back some of the color in a light beam. What is the effect of this? We see the apple as red. We are able to see through the apple. Makita na to ang sulod sa apple. We see the apples as green. Ato makitaan kay green nga apple daw. If you need more time, you can pause this video. If not, let's jump to the next slide. Nine. Again, we are talking about effects here. A light beam hits a smooth, shiny object. So what is the effect of this one? Only some color beams bounce back off the object. All of the color beams bounce back off the object. None of the color beams bounce. 10. A beam of light hits a green leaf. What happens next? Only one color beam bounces back off the object. All of the color beams except green are absorbed by the leaf. Or the last one, a light will hit a smooth object. Choose the best answer and copy that in your own answer sheet. For number 10. We are now ready for the next part. If you need more time, you can pause this, the video here. Let's check. Don't forget. Wrong spelling wrong. Check your notebook from numbers 1 to 10. I will not be reading each sentence anymore to conserve time. But be strict with the spelling. Be strict with the capitalization as well as the period if the choices in each item has a period. 
If you need more time, you can pause here. If you don't, it's okay to proceed to the next part. Learning task number three. In your answer sheet, please allot a space that will allow you to draw this form. Read the passage, The California Gold Rush. Identify the signal words that offer clues about the cause and effect, text, structure, and write them inside the corresponding box. So, mangita ka og signal words. Here on this part, this is where you are going to write the cause signal words. And on this part, you are going to write the effects signal words. For those who forgot what these signal words are, for cause, we have because as an example of a signal word. And we have for um, effect, we can say that is why that is a very long phrase. This is an example of effects phrase. Let's read the text. Uh, unfortunately, we have to erase some of the notes that I wrote a while ago. Give me a few seconds. Here we go. Okay, now I'm ready with my pen. The California Gold Rush. It is important to remember that although many people found fame and fortune, during the gold rush, not everyone's story had such a happy ending. Certain classes and races had their rights trampled on during the rush for gold. As a result of word getting out about gold in California, tungod kay nakadungog ang ubang tao sa gawa sa California nga naday gold sa California, workers from China flooded into San Francisco. Mga trabahador gikan sa China na abot San Francisco. At first, the other miners were welcoming and everyone was free to seek fortune in California. Okay raon ta kayto sa mga taga California ang pag-abot sa ubang miners gikan sa gawas. However, since more and more... Okay, I will give you an example of a signal word here. Since more and more Chinese citizens uh, participated in mining for gold, the other miners began to worry that these new settlers would take away jobs and opportunities for them. Ultimately, because of intense discrimination, Chinese American miners began to struggle for their rights. This is just one of the signal words I have. We have the word since. But the question is, is this a cause signal word or an effect signal word? I hope you have your answer already. If you need more time, you can pause this video here or you can continue watching for the next part. Still with the same topic, the California Gold Rush, we will now complete this entire structure. So we have cause and we have effect here. Word got about the gold rush in California. Ni katag ang words na ako na gold sa California. So unsa may epekto ani? You type or write down your answer in this box and make sure your answer is clear or easy to read. Other miners began to worry that these new settlers would take away jobs and opportunities from them. So, unsa may hinungdan ani? You can look for the sentence that is yeah, you can look for the sentence here that is the reason why this thing happened and from that sentence you can rephrase or copy that sentence in this part of um, the visual organizer. Okay, and here you might want to add also another cause and another effect. If you need more time, you can pause the video here. But if you don't, let's proceed to the next part. We have still learning task number three. We have phrases here in each side. And there are some blanks that we have to fill in. So for cause and effect, we have it here. First, workers from China flooded into San Francisco. What is the reason that this one happened? Write your answer or write the cause of this event in this part. More and more Chinese citizens participated in mining for gold. What is the effect of this? Write your answer here. These are just your guide. Because of intense discrimination, 
Chinese American miners began to struggle for their rights. That is how we categorize parts of sentences or paragraphs into causes and effects. If you need more time, you can pause the video here. Let us now proceed to learning task number four. Instructions on your answer sheet. Write a paragraph about air pollution showing cause and effect relationship. You may use the graphic organizer that follow to help you organize your thoughts. I like using graphic organizer or something that is visual. Usually, I call it visual organizer. Uh, so what should we do? We have guide words here. We have causes. Pwede na to ibutang ang cause dere sa air pollution. We have a typographical error. And then, pwede na to ibutang ang mga epekto aning a part sa atong graphic organizer. So for causes, what are the causes of air pollution? We have smoking. Um, what else? Are there any other examples of causes? Let's think, let's think. Besides smoking, smoking is actually not a great contributor of air pollution, but there are many other things. Um, we have smoke from vehicles. Vehicles, kananggikan sa sakyanan. Okay, so mahugaw o maayo ang hangin tungod ani nga mga butanga. Unsa may epekto ani nila? Some effects are we have cancer, specifically lung cancer. We have uh, examples of air pollution is climate change also. These are just examples of the effects of the causes of air pollution. Write down or fill the, these uh, bubbles or circles in before you proceed to writing. Ano ang importante man ang graphic organizer? Because graphic organizers allow us to map our thoughts well before we write the paragraph. Let's go to the next part. Now you are ready to organize your thoughts into paragraphs. So for the introduction, again, your title is air pollution or your topic is about air pollution. You may write your introduction here. Um, what I like to do is describe what air pollution is. Paragraph 1 usually establishes the background of the entire composition. So maybe you want to answer questions here, like what is air pollution? That's a guide question. So you can say air pollution is when air is contaminated with toxic substances. I'm so sorry about my handwriting. And then you can start writing. Uh, you may also elaborate this. You can add more sentences to tackle what air pollution is and how air pollution happens. Here, we can already start pinpointing the causes of air pollution. So, tanan ni mong nahibawan kung anong nai air pollution, diri ni mo isawat sa second paragraph. And then, the effects of air pollution, ang epekto sa air pollution, you write them down in the third paragraph. And lastly, the conclusion. What I usually do when I write the conclusion, I talk about um, how we can manage given the situation or how we can solve the problem if the entire paragraph talks about a problem like air pollution. Learning task four, this is now your time to shine. Let's read the instructions first. Write a cause and effect paragraph. You may choose one from the suggested topics below. So, mupili lang ka. Pwede ka magsuwat about COVID-19. Pwede ka magsuwat about typhoons. Pwede po ka magsuwat about modular learning. Here, I'm going to talk about um, typhoons because we had a death in December and it was something very catastrophic for me. So here, I'm going to talk about typhoons. Um, I'll just give you or share to you an outline that I would like to follow while writing this paragraph, but I will not be writing the entire paragraph here because my problem is I don't have enough space. So here, um, I will first talk about the overview or the definition 
of the word typhoon, I will answer what a typhoon is or elaborate on what a typhoon is. And then I'm going to talk about the effects of strong typhoons. That's my second paragraph. And my third paragraph is going to be about how to prepare myself when a typhoon is about to happen. So all in all, I have three paragraphs for this topic. Um, I'm going to write about the keywords I just placed. And then I'm going to use signal words. Again, those signal words are because, so, um, yeah, these are what we call signal words. I hope you learned something today and I hope the discussion is clear, although I have to inject, I had to inject a few parts to review what paragraph is, how multimedia affects the text, and how we can construct cause and effect paragraphs carefully. I hope you learned something and you apply that on a daily basis. Again, our topic for today is about cause and effect and constructing paragraphs. This has been Teacher Sydney. If you have any questions, type your questions in the comment section in this video. And if you have none, I hope you had a great day and you learned with me. Thank you very much for listening and see you in our next video. That will be for English five week number four goodbye and thank you